Good morning creators and welcome to another UAFN tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to add wind to your props. That could be grass props, it could be foliage, it could just be a cube. So just indulge with me, I have a cube here. I didn't want to download a grass asset for this, but I have a cube here. Um, I've already applied a material for it and you probably have a material for your grass anyways. So once you've created your material, you'll go in. I assume you've connected the base color, roughness, all these good things. Um, to add wind, we're going to focus on the world position offset. And to add wind, we're going to go into the content drawer, go to the epic folder, and search for wind. You'll see there are two options here. You have wind and you have simple grass wind. We're going to use the simple grass wind. And you can plug in the result into world position offset. And now you have four nodes here that you need to edit before it works. First, you have wind intensity, which is going to be, of course, the intensity of the wind. You have wind weight and wind speed. To add these values, you just have to press down one and then click. Pretty simple. So you also want to add a vector three. Apply that and you'll see it renders. Right now, since all the values are set to zero, it's not going to do anything. Um, so first you want to increase the wind intensity. Let's say just one for this. You see it's not going to do anything because we haven't set a wind weight. So wind weight is going to determine like how much it blows within the wind. And wind speed is going to determine how fast it blows. So like each movement is like a cycle and the speed determines how fast that cycle happens. So if I turn it to like 20, it's gonna be really fast, very jittery. So I recommend keeping the wind speed down unless you really want it to be high. Um, wind weight, of course, is the amount it's going to blow. So if I turn it up to 50, you'll see it goes crazy. So keep it generally low. I recommend one, maybe 0.5. And then wind intensity is like the, kind of like the additional strength at which it blows so if i have like 20 here or let's try that you see it goes crazy so we don't want to do that um keep it kind of low maybe look at three you'll see it blows a lot more goes a lot crazier so wind weight is the amount it blows intensity is kind of like the the craziness of the wind and the wind speed is the rate at which it cycles additional roll position offset this is because if you connect it to your world position offset, it's going to negate anything that you wanted to connect there. So if you want to connect anything that you're going to use for world position offset, you can connect it here. Um, this just basically shifts your prop around the map. So if I change um, this value, you'll see it will shift in an actual direction. Um, maybe you choose a bigger number. You'll see it actually moves forward a bit. Um, so I wouldn't really recommend uh, adjusting this unless you really want to. Um, so just leave this alone. But once you have that done, we're going to apply. And you'll see it applies to my cube and my map. Um, and it's kind of vibing, which is kind of fun. So you can experiment with this to determine like the, the, rate, uh, the rate at which the wind blows. And uh, it can apply to all of your grass meshes instantly um, if they have the material assigned to them. Of course, this can apply to other props as well. So just experiment, see what you want, and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and a suggestion down below. I hope you all have an amazing day, and good luck creating.